All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Our uh, weekly general tarot reading May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. And um, in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to see, or yeah, there you're going to see a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So with that being set aside, moving to the general reading of the week for you, Sagittarius, the first card, and that is a very, very strong start. So let's uh, hope that the next card is going to be uh, complementary to this one. But that is your topic of the week, and that will be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. Yeah, it's very, very strong. That is going to be the Nine of Cups. So um, a bit of a um, input here. Uh, we do have double nines, and that is about solidity, uh, and it's about, uh, how can I say it, it is about structure, if you will, in terms of numerology, meaning that what you do will last, okay, so, uh, and for what it seems here, you're going to do great things, but let's move to the next one, that will be the challenge that you will have to face, that will be the five of swords, so there is no question in my mind that we are talk talking about a revival or rather like a like a, uh, a standing against the odds, if you will, and prevailing at the end, followed by uh, the next one, which represents uh, the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. That is going to be the Hierophant. Moving next, it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That is going to be the, the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tara is offering, I told you so, you know, it's about structure, it's about solidity, it's about uh, govern, uh, governing things into your life here. And that will be the, um, the Emperor card, which is the guidance that Tara is offering. So um, <clears throat> I may need a second here to comprehend how to explain you that because it's going to be very important to convey the information in an accurate uh, fashion, if you will. So, um, in the overall sense of the reading, Sagittarius, this is where, despite that, um, you know, that a situation, or rather like, uh, how can I say, um, a phase of, of your life, especially if right now you are finding in a, very, in a rather rough phase, it's difficult for you to move on forward. You know the value of it, you know, you know that it's worth your while and therefore you are denying, fa den oh my God, denying failure and um, you are pushing through with um, or finding this angle which is going to give you the uh, rare opportunity to further the goal in it. So it's a fantastic week of saving marriages, saving relationships, saving relationships, uh, oh my God, saving jobs. Uh, friendships uh, and saving in general is something that it is about to be destroyed but in any case um, let's uh, move general here because that's a general reading first couple of cards we do have the nine of uh, cups with the nine of pentacles so what those things point or the energies themselves are pointing that this uh, this week you're truly gonna find the um, the real sensual joy that your life can offer you okay your relationship can offer you your career can offer you your friendships can offer you in generally you are to see how good you can feel and how happy you can be but also those energies are going to make you to recognize that what you do right now in in it in a sense of that your performance you know into your career or into your relationship is not enough or it needs to be maintained. I mean, you should keep on being nice, for example, into your career. You should be lovely into your relationship and etc., etc. And that is something that needs to be contiguous rather than you do it once and you think that you do have it in the back. So those energies are pointing to one thing that if you work for sustaining what makes you happy, if you work to sustain your relationship, if you work to sustain your career, you know, if you do what it takes to also sustain um, uh, our friendships, then that short term happiness that you're going to experience throughout the week, because that week is going to make you very happy because the very least, you know, you're going to see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But that short term happiness can and should be transformed into a, a very long lasting one, one that can last even for a lifetime. But we are going to see that into the gifts and the blessings.
Okay, so that's about the Nine of Cups. A big misconce misconception is that this is about wish coming true. It's true that wish coming true, but it is just a short term thing if you do not maintain and sustain it. Because with the Nine of Cups, the easy part is to get the job done. Okay, the hard part is to maintain the results. So you're going to get the job done or you're going to reach the destination you want. But maintaining the results of it, that it is where the true mastery lies. So what you need to do here is described with the, uh, with the situation that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. And that card, it's, uh, it rather points to only one thing, that this situation will demand and will require from you to make a leap into development. Okay, Leap into development into your career, leap into development into your relationship. And especially if you are single. Those two cards are really pointing that the big one is about to come around. Uh, that is someone that you already know, by the way. It could be someone that you already know, by the way. It's just they haven't stepped out up until now. But definitely we're talking here about the big fish that everybody wants to catch. Well, it is your turn to catch it. So hopefully you um, do not take it for granted. Because literally that's the only thing can, uh, that can ruin you here. To take the results for granted. They need to be, once again, I can't stress you that enough. They need to be maintained. So moving next, it is the uh, challenge that you will have to overcome here. That will be the challenge of the five of wands. So apart from that, this week is going to be more um, dynamic than usual for you. The biggest challenge of the five of uh, wands is that it can work out or rather like you to believe that can work out. So to me, that card here speaks that what you are standing against, the endeavor itself, it is, um, it is a thing that you probably think that you do not deserve success in it. And that card here, it is uh, the reminder that should you put the, the toils behind, you can definitely make it work because the final result at that particular stage is anybody's guess or what i like to say it is that in your case what you are going for it's not meant for somebody but it can be taken by, by the one who can take it okay and you definitely can take it should you once again put what it takes behind your actions um, and uh, yeah, the, the, the five of uh, wands, it is the card where it is the best card out there in tarot that shows one, um, or how can I say it, that shows the ability one to transform a situation who is almost destroyed and to transform it into a utter success. Okay, so if you are about to lose your job, definitely this week you can do something to actually stabilize it. If you are about to lose your relationship, same thing goes for it. You know, you can do something to stabilize that relationship this week. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings for you, Sagittarius, and that is going to be the Hierophant card. So uh, that card, first of all, points that uh, you are going to enjoy the, uh, the trust and the mutual reliability of the people around. So people are going to trust you. And that is why this this week it is very, uh, very potent to get into a, a long lasting relationship or to get a long lasting job as well in case you are jobless or you are a single. But the Hierophant also points that there are certain structures that nobody can avoid. And luckily for you, your, uh, your agenda falls exact, exactly with the structures that needs to be followed, with the rules that needs to be followed. So you aren't going to mind what is going on around you and you ain't going to mind the rules and the stipulations and in generally the uh, the ways of how things need to be manifested here. And uh, I, I can't say it in another way, but you are going to pretty much be exuberated about the um, the things that are standing in front of you, the, the, the immediate future that is unfolding in front of you. That is your gift and that is your blessing. So what uh, is going to be the impression of the people around? So we do have the Ace of Pentacles. A uh, few impressions. Uh, the first one and the most important one it is that people are going to see you as someone who finally have their chance. That is 
uh, and that is definitely true because sometimes the impression of the people does not correlate with what truly is going on they see only the facade but they cannot see what happens behind the curtain but here for you what they see it is the reality meaning that you definitely have your chance to make your goal or to push your goal through the other impression it is that people are going to see you as a very um, successful businessman or a businesswoman meaning that they will see you as a, someone that they can make a business with okay so that could itself provoke a, a business propositions business offer a job offers as well and the final impression it is that you are very humble in the sense of that no matter who approaches you you are always built oh my god you always will be you will be able to establish a harmonious relationships which will attract a lot of individuals into your social circle and who knows into your intimate circle as well but the um, guidance that Taro is offering that will be the guidance of the of the emperor and again do not take anything for granted you are to build your empire throughout this week okay either in career either in relationship or for life in general and that empire needs to be maintained because the empires are easy to fall apart so you have to address all of the endeavors in the enterprises of your new venture or of your new leap into development here with a huge portion of consistency okay and as well you need to present yourself reliable to your boss to to your um, suitor for example to your friends to your current partner in life and uh, you need to maintain control and exert structure everything needs to be mm, very well planned i don't know how to say it very well structured and that is the only way how you are to uh, face the ups and downs with a lot of ease and as well you will you are to be forewarned what follows next and above everything else you will be able to without a doubt here to sustain the happiness that you are to accomplish throughout this week may 25th to may 31st 2020 so that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, if you are interested in a private reading, you can purchase such from our website, which link you're going to find into this, to the description down below. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.